Hey guys, how's it going? So, I know I praise the pigeon tree crafting for their belts a lot, but I did want to talk about something a little different today, which are the accessories that I've also gotten from him, because he doesn't just do belts, he also does a run of boots by Santalum, which are an Indonesian boot making company, making really nice, really well, constructed boots. He also does his own line of wallets and they're very nice wallets. I was never really super into wallets before until I looked at his website and you know getting into indigo dyed things and American made things. I was very captivated by the wallets and so I got this one here. This is about two years old. Um, it's taken on a really nice patina. It's really cool. This is an indigo dipped wallet. So it's it starts out as it's natural veg tan and what he does is he dips it layer by layer as to achieve this sort of striped color. So it goes dark, medium, light. It's taken on a really cool patina because it's absorbed some of the indigo from my raw denim jeans. It's the best wallet I've ever owned, <laughs> needless to say. So this one's called the Indigo Dip Dyed Natural Veg Tan Leather Bifold with OG3 Layer Dip. The description says, when you buy something made from quality, full grain veg tan leather, you're buying it for life. And you can be sure that while it will last a lifetime, you can also be sure that it will never look quite the same. Natural leather like this is almost akin to a blank canvas. It will change and develop patina as it ages. The color will darken and richen as it absorbs the oils from your fingers and the indigo from your denim. And yes, I don't know if you can tell, but this has absorbed a lot of indigo from my raw denim, which is really cool. This particular wallet has been hand dyed with natural indigo dye, creating a three layer dip gradient. And like all natural style that I sell as well, this wallet will also patina with use. Very true. You can tell on the outside of the wallet here how much it's patinaed compared to the inside, which obviously had less exposure to touch and stress and things like that. So there's six card slots and a billfold slot, plenty of room for you to burn a hole in your pocket with. Edges are hand burnished with natural beeswax for a smooth feel. Yes, it's a very smooth feeling wallet. And he's got pictures on his website of his own personal wallet that has also patinaed with a lot of use. Looks very similar to mine. His patina is a little better. <laughs> so anyways, looking over his website, he has a bunch of different wallets. It's not just this one. He does a lot of different pattern variations on the wallet. You could also get it in regular, just natural bench tan without any indigo dye on there at all. But obviously, you know, getting into denim, you kind of got to experiment around with the indigo dyed stuff too and and to me that's that's one of the most fun parts really interesting patterns of indigo that he has going on he has one where it's instead of horizontal lines like on this one it's it's diagonal he's got one a gradient dipped veg tan bifold wallet it's fully indigo dyed it doesn't show this natural undyed strip it's got sun soaked veg tan laser pattern oh the laser pattern one looks really nice <laughs> Uh oh, I might have to get another one. And actually, I chatted with Isaac directly to sort of customize this one a little bit. I wanted to make it something really as interactive of a wallet as possible. And I thought, this is one thing that Isaac offered. He said that he could attach this brass piece is called the fish hook. And it's developed a nice patina as well. It's attached to a lanyard cord. This is pure leather. On his website, he offers this as an option. You can get the wallet lanyard wallet chain with solid brass screw shackle and brass scissor snap. The cord that he has on the website is slightly different from this one. I'll film a video demonstrating how it works, but the fish hook clips to your belt. You just hook it over your belt and then you throw the wallet into your pocket. And the idea there being pickpocketers can't take your wallet. Now, pickpocketing isn't so much a problem nowadays and that's not really something I'm too concerned with anyways, but I don't do it for that. I do it because it looks cool. It looks really cool. When you have the wallet in your pocket and then you have this leather lanyard coming out of your pocket with this really attractive looking piece of brass attached to your buckle, it just, it looks so cool. It looks amazing. And a lot of people that I follow on Instagram, they have a similar setup. It's not this exact one, but, but they have similar lanyard and uh, attachments for their belts. 
Another really cool thing about this particular lanyard is that I think this is the Ritza thread that he uses. Really high grade, really good quality thread. The thread is indigo dyed as well. Even this thread here and here has formed its own patina. It started out a lot darker and now it's lightened up due to indigo crocking onto other things like probably transferred onto my denim and pants and other things like that. So. So even the thread <laughs> on the leather lanyard has patinaed it as well. Another neat thing is the, the fish hook can rotate, so you don't have to worry about getting tangled up. Every component of this was thoughtfully considered. So I'll read about the wallet lanyard. The main purpose of a wallet lanyard is to secure your wallet. Using solid brass hammered rivets and solid brass hardware, this lanyard is built tough. The brass screw shackle keeps a secure hold on your wallet while the scissor snap attaches easily to your belt loop. Again, the scissor snaps on the website. This is not a scissor snap, this is a fish hook. Every lanyard comes with a round logo stamped leather tag cut from the same leather as the lanyard and secured with a solid brass flat split ring. The nine to 10 ounce natural leather that this lanyard is made from will develop patina with use, darkening with exposure to the sun and the elements as well as the oil from your hands. I'll measure is approximately 17 inches from one end to the other, but if you need a different length, I'd be happy to accommodate. That's one of the best things about working with Isaac is he will customize stuff however you want. <laughs> you don't have to go with what he's got on his website. Just talk to him and he will accommodate different things that you want to that you want to do. Another thing about this wallet in particular is that on the inside when you open up to the the billfold area, this is a lot rougher. This is like the rough outside of the leather as opposed to the smooth side on the outside. It's just another feature that I enjoy about this wallet. In addition to that, there's a pigeon tree crafting logo stamped on the inside uh, just to remind you, you know, where you got it, which is really cool. Again, another awesome feature. I love that. I don't always want to have the lanyard showing depending on what I'm wearing. So when I'm wearing a suit, for example, I just feel like this kind of brings the formality of the suit down a little bit if the if the fish hook is displayed and this, this leather piece lanyard is displayed. So if I'm wearing a suit, I don't necessarily want to display my, my wallet lanyard. Also what I'll do, very simple fix. You don't have to remove the lanyard, although you could by unscrewing this little screw right here and just pulling it off. A simpler fix for me is I take the fish hook and I just, I just hook it on the wallet itself. And then that way I can stick it into a pocket if I'm wearing a suit. I'll just stick it in my suit pocket. I'll just show you how that looks, for example. And then it's concealed, it's all one unit. So you don't have to necessarily wear it with the lanyard function necessarily. So next, I want to talk about this little component that changed my life entirely. Um, it's called the Natural Vegetable Tanned Key Fob for your belt. This is indigo dipped, and this has formed a really cool patina. I don't know about you, but I hate having keys in my pocket. They're they're jagged, they, they're uncomfortable, I just, I hate it. I don't wear baggy enough pants to just throw a big clump of metal keys into my, <laughs> into my pants pockets. I've always hated it. It's not an enjoyable thing for me. So when I saw that Isaac was selling something like this, I said, oh wow, that's brilliant. It's got the pigeon tree crafting stamp on the outside there. And it's such a simple thing. You just get it on your belt. It's just so easy when you need your keys. You just take it off, use your keys, and then when it's ready to go back on, boom, done. So, out of sight, out of mind. That's another thing that I really like about this brand, about, about Isaac's products, is that you can start with the belt, but then you can start taking other accessories and things and incorporating it into the belt. Sort of like turning your belt into a utility belt, <laughs> almost. <laughs> That's really, in my opinion, a really cool progression with this stuff is you can start out with a belt or two and then you can get into the wallets and you can customize the wallet and you can get a lanyard and you can get any type of attachment you want and that transitions over to your keys, you know. How do you want to carry your keys around? Well, you can use the belt to carry your keys around, not just attach it to your wallet. There's so many things that you can do, and it's really changed the way that I've lived my life, not just in a style sense, but ergonomically. Every little thing that I have to carry around is, is made that much easier. And every piece that you get, you can incorporate into your lifestyle seamlessly, and it's 
it's gonna get better and better with use and form a better and better patina with age. And so anyways, if you want to uh, follow me on Instagram, my username is aerosurferlv. I hope you enjoyed the review on my leather wallet and key fob from Pigeon Tree Crafting. And uh, thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.